everyone, my name is Hania and today I present FedVault, an efficient gradient at layer detection method for Byzantine resilient and privacy preserving FedML. This work is a collaboration with my lab mate Yang Chen Wang, Zhang Guo from Facebook AI Research, and Professor Morali Anabara. In the first part, we explain what are the problems uh, in uh, federated learning. The first problem is privacy risk. Um, local updates can leak information about local data. As it is shown in the deep leakage paper, original images can be reconstructed from gradient updates. The second problem is security risk, which means there, are, there might be Byzantine workers in the system that can send arbitrary updates to the central server. These arbitrary updates can be because of the adversarial behavior of the client or they may be caused by some software or hardware bugs. It is shown that even a single Byzantine worker can arbitrarily manipulate the central model. In this work, we provide FedBot, a framework that provides information theoretic data privacy, security against Byzantine workers, collision safety. In addition to that, FedBot has a practical implementation and it is easily scalable. So the solution for um, solving the privacy issue is one solution is to use a trusted execution environments for private aggregation. To privately aggregate the data from the clients, clients send their updates uh, to the TEE. In this work, we use Intel SGX as our TEE. How about the second issue, which was Byzantine workers? One a line of prior works focuses on outlier detection for Byzantine uh, robustness. Um, the assumption is gradient estimates from benign users are close to each other. In this work, we use a prior work, Chrome, which is a well-known approach to detect outliers. However, because trusted execution uh, environments in their current implementation are CPU-based, uh, the overhead of implementing Chrome inside the um, SGX is very high because um, Chrome needs pairwise distance computations between all the pair of gradients that are sent by the clients. And as you can see, execution time of outlier detection increases quadratically by increasing the number of clients. To solve the performance issue uh, and also uh, preserving the privacy, um, FedWall take advantage of GPU accelerators for uh, performing the outlier detection computations. So the goal here is to compute the pairwise distance computation between every pair of the gradients. After clients send their data to the parameter server, parameter server secret share the data between multiple parties. In this simple example, we have a two-party setting in which each of the gradients secret shared between the two parties. Each GPU compute the partial pairwise distance on the share of data it holds. And then GPU send the partial distance that is computed back to the parameter server. After parameter server aggregates these data, some of the terms cancel each, uh, each other. And at the end, we have the partial pairwise distance between every two gradients plus the pairwise distance between every pair of uh, random noise that is generated for uh, privacy. So in our paper, we have shown that if we uh, generate these random noise signals in a way that they have a constant um, pairwise distance between every pair of them, we can preserve the functionality of Chrome uh, and uh, we can this way uh, have both privacy on the GPUs and we can um, easily detect the outliers using Chrome. Our experiments um, has a one implementation, one baseline implementation on the Intel SGX. Everything was fully implemented inside the TE and in the other implementation, we use our secret sharing scheme and we have access to six GPUs. By having access to uh, six GPUs, we could support uh, more than 1000 users and while training mobile net v1 on C410, uh, we observed 32 times uh, speed up in comparison to baseline. Please see our paper for our scalability analysis and colluding GPUs proof.
Thank you all for watching this lightning talk. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, reach us at hashemis at usc.edu. Thank you very much.